Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. Today we have a super fun and special video for you guys. Erin will be following a Bob Ross painting tutorial on her nails. Hey guys, it's Erin. I've seen this trend of following Bob Ross tutorials going around YouTube lately and I thought it'd be the perfect thing to try on my nails. I picked this one called Mountain Serenity because I thought it looked perfect for spring. So I'm starting off with a base coat on all of my nails. Then to act as my canvas, I'm painting all of my nails white. Since I'm going to be doing a gradient on my nails, a little tip I have is to put a layer of top coat on before you do your gradient, just to make sure it's completely dry, and that way when you're sponging the color on, you're not pulling off the white base underneath. And again, since I'm doing a gradient, I'm taking this liquid latex and applying it all around my nail just to minimize cleanup later. For my gradient, I want to mimic the background that Bob Ross has painted, so I'm taking this medium blue and light blue nail polish, and I'm painting them in an arc shape across my makeup sponge. Then I'm putting a dot of pink beneath it and taking those same blue shades and applying a line of each to each side of the makeup sponge and again the pink down the middle. I know this is really complicated but you can kind of see it looks really similar to his canvas. Then to create the gradient just roll the sponge onto your nail and dab up and down to blend the colors together. Then you just want to keep reapplying the polish to the sponge and repeating this process until the colors start to build up. And I kind of felt like the pink was getting lost in the middle, so here I'm just applying a little bit to the center of my nail and blending it in with the corner of the makeup sponge. Once you're happy with your gradient, use tweezers to peel off the liquid latex. And you can do any additional cleanup with a small angled brush dipped in nail polish remover. Next I'm going to be doing the clouds, and the way I ended up doing this was just taking a little bit of polish on the brush and just kind of lightly dabbing it across the top of my nails so it created a more hazy, impressionistic look. Now with the dark blue, I'm painting the outline of my mountain range. This doesn't have to be perfect and the bottom is going to be blended into some trees anyway, so you really just want to get kind of the top part of the mountains to look sharp. Now I'm adding some highlights to these mountains by taking a medium gray polish. And I'm going to be taking some white and just adding some more highlights and a little bit of snow to the top of the mountains. Now I'm adding a happy little tree by taking a dark green and painting a straight line down the side of my nail. Then once I have my tree trunk laid out, I'm taking that same dark green polish and kind of messily applying it across that line, making sure it gets wider as I get closer to the bottom. Now I'm taking a small piece of makeup sponge and my tweezers and using that same dark green, I'm sponging a little bit across the bottom of my nail to kind of create some shrubbery around the bottom of the lake here. Now I want to add some highlights to my greenery, so I'm taking this light green nail polish and just applying a little bit across my pine tree and along the bushes I put along the side. Here I'm just making some final touches, like I wanted to add a little bit more blue to the lake at the bottom, so I'm taking my brush and that darker blue polish to pull a little bit in from the sides. And just adding a little bit more of that dark green along my tree and around the bushes for depth. Finally, apply a top coat to all your nails to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. So 
So here is Bob Ross's finished Mountain Serenity painting, and here are my Mountain Serenity nails. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments down below. You can click the boxes here to check out other Cute Polish videos, and click the circle here to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. You can also subscribe to my personal nail channel by clicking the circle here.